Ah, yes. Hello there, and welcome to my TGC Tour Weekly Recap video. This week in the CCE circuit, we tackled the Gord Downey Memorial at Khan's Oak Club. One of the big differences this week would be the reachable par fives for even pro clubs. The first one in the tournament is this third hole, as seen here, which I would take advantage of for Eagle. Bang! All right. Eagle, baby. There you go. Due to this, we would see lots of very low scores. This course was wide open and set up for low scoring. I had a nice approach on seven and then great putts on both eight and nine to round out the front nine holes at seven under par. Baby, let's go. Even with the 7 under front, I would only be able to finish the round at a disappointing 8 under. I had another nice approach on 15, but two bogeys on the back as well as pars on both the par 5s would hold me from shooting even lower. Rolling into round 2, I wouldn't play quite as good on the front, only playing it at 4 under, but boy would I have a back 9. I finished the round with eight straight birdies. Go, 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 go. Bang! Let's go. Nice. If it wasn't a close approach, I'd be making a nice putt, really finding a nice rhythm to my game here on the back nine. Those eight birdies would get me to 12 under on the round and 20 under, 20 oh, under definitely. overall. Chipping for bird. 20 under seeming like a good number, however the leaders would be more than 10 strokes ahead based on these conditions and therefore I would pretty much know I would be out of winning contention. Heading into round three, I still lie. was hoping to keep the momentum rolling to see if I could find myself with a nice top 50 finish. And that's a birdie. Let's get one more. I would start out very well with finally getting close on five for easy birdie, and then on nine, I would hit my second shot very close for an easy eagle and a seven under front nine. This time around on the back nine, I would be able to string together five birdies, this time with no bogeys, including this nice approach on 16 before wrapping it up with a nice putt on 18. That's what I'm talking about. And that's how you finish a round. That would make it 12 under on the day, 32 <laughs> under through three rounds would keep me at about top 75 or so for the tourney. Not great, but not bad. Round four would start nicely after a great shot on three would lead me to Eagle, my fourth of the tourney and second on this hole. I would string together some more birdies on the front to be at six under by ten. This approach would be my closest on the hole for the tournament and would lead to my lone birdie on ten for the tourney. After that, I had a couple of slip-ups, not taking advantage of easier holes like 12 and 14, but I would finish strong with this nice approach on 16. A final round of 10 under would get me to 42 on the tourney, 
and at the time of this video that's good enough for top 40 probably closer to top 50 once all score cards are entered my biggest flaw this week was those few bogeys i had and not capitalizing more on those back nine par fives in short i'm very happy overall with uh this week looks like i will most likely be back in the cce circuit again next week be sure to catch out those live rounds on my Twitch channel as shown here and you can click that link below to toss a follow. I usually stream weeknights Monday through Thursday. Good luck to everyone in their rounds and until next time, ciao.